Welcome to lesson 6, a quick keyframe animation. We intend here to show just how easy it is to produce a basic animation and to understand how to insert keyframes and review our work in the timeline area. We also need to understand the significance of the frame rate. So let's start with the frame rate. In fact, the frame rate can be observed in the uh, render properties area. At the moment it's set for 24 frames per second, but I prefer to work with 30 frames per second. So that means that each individual second of animation will require 30 individual frames to be produced, which sounds like a lot of work. And in fact, if you were doing stop motion animation, that would mean you would need to produce 30 frames manually. The nice thing about Blender is that uh, although it can still take it quite a long time to, to render your animation, it will do that for you automatically using a technique called keyframes. So let's set up keyframe animation and we will, we will have a 90 frame duration animation. So down here I'll specify 90 frames and of course because we are on three frames per 30 frames per second this will last for three seconds. The next thing to do is to make sure that you are currently on frame 1, which I am. In the timeline I am on frame 1. And select cube, which is already selected. I'm going to record the position and rotation of the cube by inserting what's called a keyframe. I can do this by pressing the I key for insert on the keyboard and choose to record the location and rotation of the cube. So I've now recorded the starting position of the cube and all that I need to do is go to the end of my animation sequence which is going to be on frame 90. I'm going to move the cube so I'm going to grab it and move it along the x-axis through four blender units. Enter. I'm going to rotate it about the z-axis through 45 degrees. Enter. And I'm going to grab it, move it along the y-axis through minus one blender unit. There. So uh, I've moved it, I'm on frame 90, I only need to insert with the I key another keyframe and record the location and rotation. If I just check the view, the camera view here by pressing 0 and then clicking on, either clicking on play down here in the timeline or using the Alt A shortcut, I can see, I can verify that I have a working keyframed animation sequence. pressing pause, you can use the timeline to scrub through the animation. And Blender interpolates or calculates the likely position of the cube between these two keyframe markers. So let's summarize what we've just done. The basic idea is this interpolation between recorded positions at the beginning and the end, or the keyframes. And the sequence for setting it up, which is quite important, is that in the timeline, you go to the frame, and we go to frame 1, we select and position all the objects that we want and we insert a keyframe to record the location, rotation or scale. We then move to the next frame, at the end of the sequence, we then position the objects, select them and insert the second keyframe. A common mistake is that people will position the object and then decide that we would like that to be recorded at a keyframe, say, here, at frame 50. But when you click on frame 50 there, actually what you're doing is you're going to scrub through the interpolation, and of course that means that your positioning transforms have been lost. So that's very frustrating. So the sequence is that you have to move to the frame first, then you transform the object, then you insert the keyframe. 